Hey, it's Dave from CG Shortcuts. Today, we're gonna do this. We're taking a look at one of the best 4K monitors out there for CG and motion graphics artists on a budget. So a few people have been asking me about the hardware that I use. So today, I thought we'd do our first ever tech review. We'll be starting with the monitor I've been using for the last month, the BenQ PD2700U. It's a 27 inch IPS 4K display at 3840 by 2160. The brightness is at 350. The native contrast is 1300 to one. There's a five millisecond response time. It's 100% sRGB Rec 709 color gamut. It's got HDR10 and it's 10 bit color. BenQ says it's designed specifically with designers in mind, but how does it shape up for CG artists? Let's take a closer look. Firstly, out of the box, it's super easy to set up. Just snap the stand onto the monitor, and at the bottom there's a single screw to tighten. You should be good to go in about five minutes. The monitor itself looks great. The bezels are nice and thin, and it definitely looks like a more professional bit of kit. The screen is matte coated and the viewing angles are fantastic. Glare from windows and lights is pretty minimal as well. Adjusting the height and angle is super easy too. You've got plenty of range up and down, 25 degrees of tilt, plenty of swivel, and you can go portrait if you need to. Although I can't imagine I'd ever use this feature as you've got plenty of screen real estate here anyway. The stand is really solid and the base is nice and tidy, so it won't make your workspace look cluttered. It also has built-in speakers, which are similar to the quality of most laptop speakers. Nothing special, but they do the job. In the box, you also get a HDMI 2 cable, a DP to mini DP, and a USB 3 cable. Here in the back, you've got your HDMI, your DP in, your mini DP, DP out, and the headphone jack. Then for me, you've got one of the best features, two upstream and four downstream USB 3 ports. As you can see, I have a crazy amount of backup external hard drives these days. So being able to plug them into the monitor straight from the desktop is fantastic, and it saves me crawling back there and dealing with all the wires in the back of my PC. You can never have too many USB ports. The only slight issue with this is that the ports are on the bottom at the back, so it can be a little hard to plug things in. I know other models have these at the side, but the fact that you can extend the monitor so high does make it a bit easier. Another thing I should mention for all the Mac users out there is that the Mini DP also has Thunderbolt 2, so connecting to your iMac should be fine. Although you might need an adapter if you want to link it up to a MacBook Pro, as there's no USB-C in the monitor. The menu system is pretty standard and easy to navigate. There's also some great profiles to get the look you're after quickly. Aside from the Rec 709, HDR and sRGB modes, you've got some more creative options like CAD CAM, animation, low blue light and dark room. CAD CAM is a high contrast mode that lets you see wireframes a bit easier in 3D. Although I can't see myself using this very often in Cinema 4D as this is already quite customizable. The animation mode brings out the details and it's nice to quickly switch to this if your image is looking a bit dark. The darkroom mode is great if you're working in a dimly lit studio, but the mode I use the most is the low blue light mode. This is something you might have seen on your smartphone and it's a lot better for your eyes, especially if you've been staring at the screen for long periods of time. There's also a dual view mode that lets you have different looks on each side of the screen so you can compare them if you need to. Again, I haven't had much need for this feature as yet, but it's nice to know it's there. I shoot a lot of 4K 10-bit footage on my GH5 for tutorials and travel videos, and I'm pretty big on using LUTs and color correction. This monitor makes life much easier for that sort of thing. And it's so nice to finally have a 4K monitor. More and more of my work these days is being produced in 4K, so it's great to see it in its full glory. I also notice no contrast or color shift like I've experienced in older monitors. The colors here are just spot on. If I've created something on my laptop or another machine, I always find myself double checking it on this monitor. I keep all of my screens calibrated regularly with my data color spider, but when you get this monitor, it comes pre-calibrated with a factory calibration report showing you the specs of your exact unit so you can get straight into it without recalibrating. There's also a cool little feature that lets you link two PCs or two Macs to the monitor with just one keyboard and mouse. So if you're rendering on one machine, you can easily switch over and carry on working on the other machine. So all in all, I'm loving this monitor. I use it every day and it goes great with my Wacom Cintiq. Getting the color right is super important for my work and it hasn't let me down. And of course it's great for non-work related things like watching films, YouTube tutorials, or cat videos. And I'm sure it's enough for most gaming. So if you're looking for a lower budget professional 4K monitor, especially for a studio or if you're a freelance artist, you really can't beat the PD2700U and it's a fraction of the cost of other high-end studio monitors. 
There's a link below if you'd like to check it out further. Let me know in the comments if you found this helpful or if you'd like to see more videos about my gear. I'll put a full list of everything I use below. We'll be back with a normal tutorial next week and we're about to kick off our first ever monthly challenge. You can find out more about that on our YouTube community page or our Facebook group. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you want to see in the comment section below. Or you can leave a like or dislike. And don't forget to subscribe and click on that little bell icon for more videos and free stuff. Catch you next time.